seen a Vex IQ motor. This motor isn't working, so I thought I'd look inside. So I'm not too sure how to open it, so I thought I'd just cut here as there's a division. It seems to be cutting through pretty nicely. I'm so I've cut halfway through it, so now I'm just going to try to pry it open with the spanner. So it's looking inside, like it's got this screws right here. So I'm going to try to open those screws next. So I've taken off this piece, and I'm just going to take off the last bit here. And that's it. So this is how it looks like in the second half. So as you can see, there's the motor shaft where you put the shaft in. And there actually seems to be two screws here, which I'm going to uns try and unscrew. So I'm just going to uns I'm just unscrewing the first screw. Just take that out. So, whoa, that's a very long screw. So I'm going to put that. I'm just un I'm just starting the last screw. And I was when I was doing it, I actually realized that the um, first frame was actually glued on the with sides. So that's why I couldn't just pry it off. And I saw it. Um, so it's coming out. I, I, I really want to know what's inside. So now I'm just going to try to pull this off. Whoa. Okay. So this is the motor inside. So this is the actual motor and then there's like the capacitors here. And this is all the gearing is in this part. And down here there should be quite actually a few microchips. So I'm just going to try to take this. Oh, okay. That slid out pretty well. Whoa. So it's actually... Oh, the whole gearing mechanism is here like it's the gears there then there's the, the actual gear it's attached to it's like the motor is connected to this gear which is connected to this so it's so it so the outside so i'm just gonna so i just want to see if this comes off oh okay uh so this is the uh actual, this is the outer part yeah. i should put this down here then so this, this is the actual little gear that was in there like that yeah. then there's this part is connected to the motor down here. So I found the reason why the bottom wasn't coming out. So it's because of these wires here, this one and this one here. So I, I'm gonna usually you desolder them, but because it's broken, I'm just gonna cut them with some of these. So I'm just gonna cut that. That's one wire and the second wire. So now I'm going to take the other side off again, and it should work this time. I'm just going to take this part off and pull it off here. So, ooh, so that is the th this is the part that's actually that's connected to the actual motor. Because you can see here, this is the motor. This is the motor here, and this is the part that's connected to the shaft. This sits on here like so, like this. So you can see here, look down close enough, you see an LED right down here, like here. And then on top, this black thing here, you have a receiver, which actually sees through the holes of this if it's moved. So it goes here and turns, and every time it, um, the LED sends, and the receiver sees the LED, it knows that the motor's turned a certain amount. And then here is where you connect the cable, which is connected to all the stuff so th these are the, um wires we snipped which are connected to the motor so if you look closely right here you'll see and here right here you'll see a screw so i'm actually going to try to unscrew it with a screwdriver i'm just going to go in there so i'm just going to unscrew this last one i did the other one before i'll take that out i'm probably going to actually take it out otherwise it should come off. And you can see all of the electronics down here. So this is all the main electronics of the motor. This is like its brain. It's got the it's got the positioning, it's got the constant current, it's got the torque. This is pretty much what makes the motor a smart motor. So just to finish it off, I'm just gonna take off these last little screws. So I've unscrewed it, I'm just gonna take it off. So this it's all of the strength of the motor. So this <coughs> is the main motor. So it's got the gear that connects to all of the rest of the motor. 
and it's got all the all the capacitors of it. So all the power of the wheel that is connected to the wheel will is from this motor. These are all the pieces and all the tools are used to break open the motor. And it, I hope it taught you a little bit about how the the, the smart motor worked. <laughs>